previously on Kong Chronicles. But King Kong looking at him like, he's playing around with bro's mouth. And now he's trolling. King Kong picks up this boulder and crushes this Rex's skull with it. And that's GG's for him. Sent that boy back to the lobby. But what happened when the next version of him, Kong, went up against Godzilla? I guess I'm just gonna have to tell you. So it starts off with Kong chained up. Free my son, little Kongzi. He innocent, you word. The humans check their minimap to see that Godzilla is coming after them to get to Kong. Then dump him, dump the monkey. That's crazy! Listen, bitch, gorillas are apes, not monkeys. Get it right. Kong is trying to rip out of the chains, but these hoes are made out of vibranium. They're not budging. So then Dr. Andrews starts spitting straight facts about why they need to let Kong go, and she's not wrong at all. Let's be honest, we all know Kong is a brother, he cannot swim. He's an easy lick out here like this. While they're being dumbasses deliberating on whether or not to let Kong go pretending they have a chance versus Godzilla without him, Godzilla is on a kill streak, sending mad people to a Michael Jackson concert. And the humans are just continuously so desperate to show off how much they do not value their lives, sending more fighter jets after him. But just like Drake's punches, those shits look like they feel good as hell. All they're doing is tickling this man Godzilla as he blows up one jet and then destroys two more ships. I don't know why humans constantly have to involve themselves in others' fights. Motherfuckers see two silverback gorillas throwing haymakers talk about where's the zookeeper, where's the zookeeper? Is Bitch, who do you think serious? the zookeeper is? Steve Rogers? Godzilla continues to try to swim towards Kong and he's trying desperately to break out these chains but these hoes must have been forged by fucking Zeus or something. They are not budging. They also decide to take this moment to talk shit to each other for real. Which is no surprise, they've been doing this leading up to the fight all week. And Kong is just making sure to keep that same energy in real life. Pounding the ground and yelling, where you at pussy? So he tries to sneak Kong, turning over the entire ship, sending him into the water. And as you can see, he's trying, fighting for his life to get some air and breathe. The humans decide to send over a triple team shooting Godzilla with mad missiles and they actually dealt some damage. He's in some pain. But my thing is, did they forget they have a ship of people right next to Godzilla? They firing those missiles off way too carelessly. Motherfuckers be so open to committing friendly fire. Like literally just recently, Blueface was out here calling 6 ix music terrible. Just two musically challenged niggas beefing over whose shit is less ass. Hey, what's going on here? What's going on over there? Oh, just two niggas killing each other. Proceed. The man sees that Kong is submerged underwater and decides, you know what? Let me stop being a short bus rider and use my brain. As Godzilla is narrowing in, ready to end this man Kong's whole, whole career, career, swims over and releases Kong from the chains so now bro can finally protect himself. I forgot this character's name because let's be honest, we here for the two big ass kaijus beefing, we not here for you lil bro. But you the real MVP for this brody. Godzilla gets no bitches, he one of those where my hug at type dudes, trying to grab Kong instead of boxing. And I ain't gonna lie, he must have heard me talking shit because he goes in for a left to which Kong grabs and holds both hands. Just straight babying his shit right now, treating him like a little bro. Godzilla is trying to bite Kong, but he just can't reach. Until he headbutts the shit out of him, successfully getting away and climbing out the water. Because now he's been finally freed from those chains and is no longer submerged underwater, his chances have risen on land. Same way Batman be trying to convince these dudes who could fly to fight him on the ground. Kong rips off his collar and starts banging his chest. No way Godzilla trying to see me on land for real, I have the advantage. Who's gonna tell him? He looks over in the distance and sees Godzilla swimming towards the ship and he's like, oh yeah, y'all should have never let me free. Leapfrogging over all these ships to get over to where Godzilla is at, got all these fighter jets dipping out faster than my father. But some dudes got left behind and I know after they died they was watching the kill cam tight that they didn't get out of there in time. Godzilla starts pulling up on Kong and he's in his whole tryhard pose ready to go. Posted up like an NFL linebacker. As Godzilla is narrowing in, Kong picks up a fighter jet, chucking it at him with somebody inside. Not gonna lie, this given the same energy as SpongeBob chucking a fucking fire extinguisher at the fire it's instead of just using it properly. You could have just let bro fly the plane and shoot the missiles at Godzilla himself. Luckily for oh him, he's God, able to eject out and it hits Godzilla in the back, but it has no effect on him jumping on top of the ship out of the water and oh you must have thought it was sweet up here punching little bro right in his shit off rip 
Kong is clearly all O and no D. Pause because he gets caught lacking, getting the taste smacked out of his mouth right back. Godzilla tries to charge up his atomic breath, but one of the fighter planes stops him. Unfortunately for him, this is not an anime. He would have been able to get it off in there. Niggas be standing there staring at Goku charging up a spare bomb for 15 episodes and then wanna act surprised as hell when they get hit with it. Kong hits Godzilla with a crazy right, gets up and elbows him in the chest, sending him back into the water, back to where he came from. He then decides it's time to go peep over the edge to see what's going on down there. Turns his head to the camera looking like he ready to hit us with a cheesy movie line. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Turning around and skedaddling out of there as Godzilla is showing off his crazy throat. Got my son Kong looking like he in the middle of some mean jumping jacks. Jumping out the way of the blast into the water, but then Kong realized, Oh shit, I deadass can't swim. And starts drowning with a look of straight horror in his face. And throughout the entire movie, I was always rooting for Kong. But this was the point where I started realizing how unfair of a matchup this really was. You got a dragon who could swim, is armored, has claws, and can shoot laser beams out of his mouth versus a fucking big gorilla. Straight Chris Brown versus Rihanna, this a mismatch. Godzilla tackles Kong and he's just trying to get as close as possible to be able to bite his face off. But Kong is not going for it, stop touching niggas with your hands! Eventually able to bite onto his arm, bumping into the ship, everybody on that ship getting taken off the census brutally. Their options were literally drowning or dying in a fire, or both, until Kong pushes him out the way into a kick right to the chin, trying to swim out of there because he can't hold his breath forever. Godzilla full court pressing though, it was never gonna be that easy. Grabbing bro and starts pulling him back down to the bottom of the ocean. The humans realize that Kong is really free eats down there, so Dr. Andrews tells them to send the fucking blitz so that he could get a chance to get away. Bro right here not even paying attention, as far as he's concerned, she's just speaking Japanese, he's just trying to hit for real. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir. <laughs> so they shoot missiles into the water to give Kong the assist, alley-oop off the backboard. Cause as we can clearly see, Godzilla got him in his clutches, pulling him down to the deepest parts of the ocean, and he's literally on the brink of death. The missile sends off a huge blast, causing a giant splash, looking like Rod Wave just did a cannonball. And once all the water settles, we're finally able to see Kong successfully climbing out of the water and collapsing on top of the ship, exhausted from that ass whipping he just took. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time, cards. So after catching that ass whipping, Kong decided it was time to spin the block. And this time he pulled up with that thing on him. A fucking glowing battle axe. He trying to put Skull Island on the map for real. So they start taunting each other, letting the other one know it's not sweet out here. Got me in my seat geeked, knowing they about to get active. Kong is still salty about how he got faded up in front of the holes last time, so he starts charging at Godzilla, no hesitation. Going for an overhead strike that Godzilla is able to block out of the way and send him crashing into a building. They out here clearing out rooms faster than a The Baby concert, trying to pull his axe out of the building. So while he's caught lacking, Godzilla bites him right in the back of the neck, throwing him away from his weapon and then going in for seconds. Kong brushed off the hickey of death that Godzilla just gave him like it was nothing though. <laughs> but anywho! Jumping up and elbowing the shit out of him as he tries to power up his attack. Grabs him by the mouth, but now Godzilla is just out here spamming. So Kong is like, fuck this, and throws him into a building, got him hit in that Goku battle pose. Kong knows that this is his chance, long jumping over there and decking the shit out of Godzilla. We cut over to first person point of view, and that punch got Godzilla hitting the light skin off guard pose. Dog, we know you see the camera. Quick intermission, I'm returning to streaming on Twitch on September 29th. Gonna be running back the If I Lose, I Gotta Go Ball Challenge. Trying to hit 10k over there before I return, link at the top of the description, or you could just type in my name. Please go support your boy. Got to little broing him, resting his hand on his head, and then kneeing him in his throat. Banging Godzilla on the top of the head, and then kicking the snot out of him, putting him right on his ass. Kong thought to himself, this is probably GG's. Throw up that Victory Royale banner, let me start emoting on them too. But he not going out like NPCs in a Michael Myers movie, hitting bro over the head with a pillow and thinking it's over, he's dead. Just for him to get back up and off everybody. Kong said, stupid, stupid I'm not even gonna, gonna let you get, get the, the chance. chance pulling out his axe to finish the job, and hold up bro, how is Godzilla up already? 0.5 seconds ago he was on his ass, bro's arms are 2 feet long, I thought he'd be turtling on his back for a little bit at least. He goes in for a slap to which Kong blocks, deep throating him, no Tiana Trump, 
Godzilla has had enough of being slutted out, so he tackles Kong into the building, hits a step back, and releases one of his laser beams. Now, I was shook at this next part because the way the frame started out, it had Kong looking like he was ready to bust out a fucking Kamehameha. But it was actually him whipping out his axe to block Godzilla's attack. And I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. Godzilla's atomic breath might have to be added to the list alongside Naruto's Rasengan and Vegeta's Gallic Gun as signature moves with 100% survival rate because it it is not working. All it did was charge up Kong's battle axe. But that don't mean nothing. He tackled Kong like a little ass boy, laying him out like a mattress. Standing over him too. That's so disrespectful. He gets up and sticks Godzilla with the battle axe. But Kong doesn't realize what's going on. His brain's still smooth. The top of the axe is literally one of Godzilla's spikes. He eats those. That's baby food. Pushing Kong away into the water, skipping him like rocks. Taking the axe out of his leg and throwing it into a building nearby. And I'm not gonna lie. I mess with Kong heavy but Godzilla dropping him in the kaiju hierarchy with this one. He really got this man running for his life, turned my son Kong into a track star. Wait till when all the other monsters see the way he had you running, bro gonna lose all street cred. Whole entire block is gonna think that Kong is food now. Kong swore that he gave Godzilla the slip. Nah. Jumping up and getting beamed in the back, straight back down to earth rolling and tumbling and stumbling down the entire city. They start grilling each other in a Mexican standoff, Godzilla giving him that Game 7 locked in face. Kong roars back and I'm thinking, oh hi, right, it's time for my son to get active. But no, bro just skedaddled out of there, sprinting away, bouncing between buildings, jumping on top of them, hitting all types of parkour. I'm figuring bro must have realized that this is a fight he's not capable of winning. I can't even hate for real. I can't call him pussy. He's smart. Dudes be trying to jump you eight people deep talking about why you running? Why you running? Fuck you mean while I'm running? You got a whole starting lineup and a bench unit after me right now. Kong was on top of this building, but Godzilla cuts it down, forcing him to jump off. But before he does, he grabs the roof of it, landing, jumping into the atomic breath, using the roof as a shield. Let me through the phone. He copied my whole fucking flow. Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar. Godzilla is still just spamming his ass off, chucking up bricks, missing every single shot until Kong is able to get his axe jumping up and on some Goku versus Vegeta, Iron Man versus Captain America, Naruto versus Sasuke, we get a cold ass moment of their attacks clashing into one another until an explosion happens. So now we really can't see what happened, no Stevie Wonder. Kong went flying back, crash landing onto the ground, and Godzilla looking like he tipsy falls back into an entire building destroying the whole thing. Damn, the way they both collapse, they probably gonna be out for weeks. An injury like that takes mad long to heal. They both rose up like absolutely nothing happened. Godzilla posted up on the ground and Kong on top of the building, his ass think he Batman. And bro, what the fuck is that he got in his hands? Bro lost his battle axe, so he got this ghetto bootleg one from Payless. Man, that's a construction power crane. He throws it at the building, and for some reason, Godzilla just decides to turn his entire back to Kong. To which Jeff Kong Hardy jumps off onto Kong's back, pressing him up against the glass. Looking like he catching back shots. Pushing him off the glass so that he could catch him with a mean left. Godzilla's knees about to give out real soon. Kong way too fucking big to be catching piggyback rides at this big ass age. So he's trying his hardest to just shake him off shake him off ooh, ooh. but it's just not working kong got the death grip until finally he gets him off his back by biting him onto the wrist and tossing him over his shoulder gabro staring into the camera like he want us to help him my nigga what are we supposed to do godzilla then goes for the curb stomp but kong is able to roll out the way so godzilla goes in and bites his arm instead kong is the last remaining one of his species and i'm not gonna lie it's looking like the extinction is occurring tonight because godzilla pulls him by his arm like a toddler throwing bro mad far away into the building dislocating his shoulder i remember watching this shit sick to my stomach Godzilla got my son hit in the Vegeta crying out in pain. And Kong better not think that this ass whooping is over yet. Godzilla said, I think, I think we ain't, ain't done, done yet. Charging in to bite off his head but eats straight glass building instead. So turns and smacks the shit on him with his tail instead. 
Kong tries to get away, but there is no escaping. Godzilla misses one, but bites onto the other foot, ragdolling his shit until Kong is able to kick him off. Godzilla said, oh, word? Man, sit your bitch ass down, and just gets to work, scratching the hell out of Kong's chest, violating, until he finishes it off by stepping onto his chest. Kong is on 12 HP from catching this ass whipping, but he's still trying to get back, hitting him with a punch to the side of the head, but Godzilla literally did not move at all. Besides you know what just for that i'm gonna stomp on you again kong yells out and is trying to take godzilla's foot off but he's just too weak right now he can't godzilla could have taken him off the census right here but he decides you know what i'm gonna spare you not before though staring his ass down and screaming into his face to let him know who the boss around here is kong's ego won't allow him to let this happen though bro is spitting all up in my face Niggas be beating up on the ground with their arms at 90 degrees facing the wrong angle talk about yeah you better run screaming back into Godzilla's face even after he's beaten and I can respect that he got no bitch in him but I gotta be honest he trying to gas it up you not scaring nobody lol bro Godzilla then finally decides to lift his foot off Kong sparing his life walking away leaving him there Kong gets up on some hey I'm not done with you yet type timing but listen bro we all saw the fight this ain't what you want this ain't what you want bro yelling out pretending like he really want to keep fighting somebody gotta talk some sense into him like how superman did to batman man fuck this nigga keep your rich ass in the house Tired of your bullshit superman what's up nigga square this nigga stay down for i knock you the fuck down nigga this ain't what you want this now means that kong is 0 and 2 versus godzilla he's finna get swept listen kong may be a king after all but what the fuck is a king to a god six hours later so godzilla's evil twin mecha godzilla is destroying the entire city doing everyone here like an attack on titan resident godzilla pulls up and starts talking his shit did you forget who i am i run these streets and starts charging towards mecha godzilla to which he just sprints into an absolute barrage of just missiles being shot at him he's loki getting a taste of his own medicine right now mecha godzilla is with the spamming shits just like you was doing to kong till godzilla grabs him and tosses him to the side mecha godzilla starts activating his one for all abilities charging up his boosters powering his arm and landing a mean right causing godzilla to drop it like is hot i know he's questioning everything right now this is already more damage than kong dealt in two fights the cameraman pans away and then eventually comes back to the fight to which godzilla gets hit right on top of his head knocking the coins out of him gets fried with a crazy charged up right he grabs this man by the back of his head holding on to one of his spikes and you can't tell me this isn't a screenshot of a parent taking their kid home after getting a bad grade on their school report card just absolutely running a train on godzilla using buildings not one once, not twice, but three times. He gets up, charging his atomic breath, but lo and behold, Mecha Godzilla has one too. Their key blasts are fighting each other, but whoever the nigga was that invented the saying the original is always better, lied. Because Mecha Godzilla wins the key battle, hitting Godzilla right in his arm slash chest area, and now I'm starting to feel bad for bro. Look at the way he's on the ground, crying out in pain. And bro, I'ma keep it a stack. It only gets worse for him from here. There is no brighter side for this nigga. Mecha Godzilla is straight ragdolling this man throughout the entire city. This is crazy. Giving him that Broly treatment in front of everybody, throwing him at the end of it. You can see the horror in this man's eyes, reflecting in it is Mecha Godzilla, his worst nightmare. I guess you can see broccoli shining in Lizzo's eyes if that's the case. And this entire time, while Godzilla is over there getting his back blown out, Kong has been AFK laid out on the ground because he still hasn't recovered from the last fight. Until this little girl is able to bring him back to life, he gets up and looks over and sees that Godzilla is getting his cheeks clapped. The little girl convinces him to go help out Godzilla or else the earth is toast. They treat in this man Mecha Godzilla like he LeBron James, forming a super team to put a stop to him. Kong is like, you know what shorty, you right, if I do this I can hang it over Godzilla's head forever. Gets up and pops his shoulder back into place, that's that mama mentality, he's crazy. So we get back to the Mecha Godzilla versus Godzilla fight. Now Mecha Godzilla got him opening wide like a baby, getting ready to fill his guts up with atomic breath, pause. But then out of nowhere, it's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's... It's Kong! Jumping out from behind and redirecting the atomic breath up to save Godzilla's life. As he looks up in disbelief, Mecha Godzilla doesn't like being ridden, so he smacks Kong off. And look at his face, bro. It was at this moment that he knew. 
he fucked up. Landing on his back and giving him scoliosis. Mecha Godzilla like, I, right, bro, I was only gonna kill Godzilla, but if you want beef, I got sausage. I could kill you too. Yeah, I got time I got today, time, cuz. Charging up to deck his shit until Godzilla comes out of nowhere to save Kong now. Pulling his arm away and then the two of them just get to jump in this motherfucker. Holding both his arms and tossing him through this building. But that really didn't do anything, not gonna lie. Every great player knows how to beat the double team. He gets out and goes to bop Godzilla but Kong stops him. Climbing all the way on top of him now. So Mecha Godzilla's like... I bet. I don't even need my hands for real. Using his missiles to blast Godzilla away, throwing Kong off of him and then punching the shit out of Godzilla with a right hook into a left. But Kong gets an idea. He's clearly the smartest of the bunch. He sees his battle axe and knows what he has to do. Let Godzilla take one for the team for a little bit to buy him some time so he could go pick up his axe. And that's what he does. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> Hitting Mecha Godzilla in the arm, a mean uppercut, chest, shoulder blade, and then trips him. Got bro looking like a cartoon slipping on banana peels. Kong then goes in for a finisher, but he taken too damn long. Mecha Godzilla slaps him with his tail, stomps him right in his chest. And now I'm lost, because where the hell is Godzilla? This was not the fucking game plan we drew up in the huddle. The play was a blitz double team. Why am I seeing an ISO? Mecha Godzilla was trying to rip out Kong's eye, but he starts to mouth function and the looks on Kong's and Godzilla's face tells you all you need to know. They know this is their chance while this nigga is lagging. Kong hits him with the axe once and goes in for seconds DJ Khaled can relate but isn't able to do it so Godzilla helps out by charging up his axe for him. Throwing that oop now it's just up to Kong to dunk that bitch. Kong cuts off the tip of his tail got Millie Bobby Brown and her loser ass friends cheering in the stands. <laughs> Goes in and cuts off Mecha Godzilla's arm. As bro is leaking everywhere, cuts off his other arm too. Lines up his next hit like he a batter going for a home run. Slashes his stomach and then his right leg. Stands over him, ready to deliver the final blow. Mecha Godzilla not trying to go out like that though. He that one horny friend when you guys go out to the club. He said I'm leaving here with at least one body. Tries to get his atomic breath off, but Kong throws him right in the side of the neck. Throws the axe away because he's really trying to feel this kill with his hands. Spiritually, he is getting his get back on Godzilla right now. Jumps on top of Godzilla, ripping his head off and holding that bitch up like it's the NBA championship trophy he just won. But bro is tired. He been fighting for like three days straight. So he walks over and takes a seat because now he finally rests and watches the sunrise on a grateful universe. But nap time gets interrupted. Wakey, wakey, wakey it's time for school. for school. Come on. Wake up, it's time for school. He gets up ready to fight some more as Godzilla walks over. And I'm thinking, damn, weren't y'all just homies like two seconds ago? What happened? Look at the scars on his face, all over his body, the way he's panting. He not really trying to do this for real. I respect the heart though. He ready to take any fight, any time. Godzilla looks at him like, come on, bro. Let's be serious. Kong is like, you know what? You right. And drops the axe. Basically giving Godzilla his respect. Which was more than enough for Godzilla who walks away, leaving in peace. As long as you know who's boss around here, little nigga. And don't forget it either. 